Hello friends, welcome to arpitakarva.com, India's finest online coaching for English literature. Now friends, uh, we'll be covering the summary of To the Lighthouse written by Virginia Woolf today. Now this novel was written in the period of literary modernism. The story is set up in the period of 1910 to 1920 in Scotland and in this work a painter in the act of painting actually figures uh, as a character. And the lighthouse is a symbol of three things and you have to remember this very carefully. These three things are permanence of the heart of change, celebration of life in the heart of death and celebration of order in the heart of chaos. The novel is divided into three sections, the window, the time passes and the lighthouse. The woman character who is an artist by profession in Virginia Woolf's To the Lighthouse is Lily Briscoe. Now friends, uh, we'll discuss it section by section. The story starts just before the start of World War I. And Mr. Ramsey and Mrs. Ramsey bring their eight children to their summer home in a palace called Hebrides in Scotland. There is a large lighthouse across their summer home. And the youngest child, James Ramsey, who is just six years old, desperately wants to go to the lighthouse. Now, Mrs. Ramsey tells him that they will go there the next day if the weather is clear. But Mr. Ramsey tells him coldly that the weather looks to be foul. And James resents his father and believes that he enjoys being cruel to him and his siblings. The Ramsey family is not the only one in the summer house at that time. They are hosting a number of guests. One of those people is Charles Stansley. He is a student of Mr. Ramsey and he admires Mr. Ramsey's work as a metaphysical philosopher. Due to his behavior, very few people like him. And also at the house, uh, there is Lily Briscoe, a young painter who is making a portrait of Mrs. Ramsey. Now, Mrs. Ramsey wants Lily to marry William Bankers, an old family friend of the Ramseys. And Lily, however, wants to remain single. Mrs. Ramsey also wants two of their other acquaintances, Paul Rayleigh and Minta Doyle, to get married. So after a while, Paul proposes to Minta. Now what happens in the second section, that is the window. Now Lily begins her painting and Mrs. Ramsay is still soothing the resentful James and Mr. Ramsay is looking down upon himself over his shortcomings as a philosopher. Then he turns to Mrs. Ramsay for comfort. Now Lily becomes furious over the comments made by Charles Stansley who suggests that women can neither paint nor write. So there's a moment when Mrs. Ramsay leaves her guests in the dining room to sit alone. Later, she joins her husband in the parlour. The couple sits together quietly and Mr. Ramsey's characteristic insecurities interrupt their peace. He wants his wife to tell him that she loves him and Mrs. Ramsey is not the kind of person who expresses her love openly. But through her actions, she makes it clear that she loves him. Now in the third section, we see that time passes more quickly when the novel enters the time passes stage. War breaks out across Europe. Mrs. Ramsay dies suddenly one night. Andrew Ramsay, her oldest son, is also killed in a battle. His sister Prue also dies while giving birth to a child. The family doesn't go to the summer house for so long after all the mishappenings and the house falls into a state of disrepair. Weeds take over the garden and spiders nest in the house and 10 years pass. The family decides to return to the house and Mrs. McNabb, the housekeeper, employs a few other women to help set the house in order. They restore the house from all the mess and the family along with Lily Briscoe returns. Then in the last section, the time again turns slow and Mr. Ramsey's behavior is also changed. He changes because no one is able to understand him as much his wife used to. Now since she is no more, so he is bound to change. He wants uh, James and Cam, one of his daughters, to accompany him to the lighthouse and his children are unable to understand the reasons behind their father wanting them to go to the lighthouse, even though they have grown up now. The Ramsey is set off and... Lily, who abandoned the painting on the last visit, is desperate to complete it on this visit. 
While on the voyage, Mr. Ramsey praises James over his boat rowing skills. James experiences a moment of connection with his father finally, who like kind of never praised him earlier. Now Mr. Ramsey thinks that he has fulfilled his wife's desire by bringing her son to the lighthouse and across the bay Lily makes the finishing touches on her painting and puts the brush down. She finally achieves her vision of completing the portrait. And with this the story ends. Now, this novel was ranked 15th in the list of top 100 novels of the 20th century by publisher Modern Library. The plot of this novel is very similar to the life of Virginia Woolf. The narrative techniques used in this novel is stream of consciousness. And in the beginning of this novel, Mrs. Ramsey tells her son, Yes, of course, if it's fine tomorrow, but you'll have to be up with luck. Now, when's the last line of this novel is, It was done. It was finished. Yes, she thought laying down her brush in extreme fatigue, I have had my vision. So these are some of the important facts and quotes. And with this, we come to the end of the lecture. We'll meet soon in the next one. Until the time we meet next, happy learning, keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpitakarva.com.